Welcome back to our old craft. In the last episode, we discovered that I have... Where's my helmet? Where's my helmet? Don't tell me. What? Oh, that is. <laughs> Everything's under control. But yeah, in the last episode, we discovered that uh, we have a secret basement under our house, and that thing killed me multiple times. So now it is turning nighttime, and I have nothing. And I'm slowly dying from being cold. This is not this is not good. So far all I have to my name are these rocks right here, a pickaxe and some bandages. So I need to think quickly, fast, and I need to hurry. First off, I need to quickly make some more wool armor because I am slowly, as you saw earlier, freezing to death. And I need to replace this with this. Boom. Okay, really good. Now that I can withstand the elements, I need to go ahead and get some more rocks so I can get new weapons, a shield, stuff like that. And I think I might have a plan for taking over the basement, but we'll see how it goes. Like I said, first I need to get some resources. Time to dig in. And I'm not even using that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need... Do I have wood? Hmm... I have four cobblestone, but I don't think I have wood to make anything with it. I may need some flint in order to make an axe. This could be a longer process than I thought. Yep, no wood. Timber. Alright, I now have a little bit of stone. I want to get a little bit more, but first I want to take a look at some of these weapons. First of all, I have the katana right here, which I'm definitely going to make because it's very nice. It has very fast attack speed and also decent attack damage, better than the vanilla sword. But there are a few other options as well. First of all, there's the long sword. It is two-handed, so I can't have a shield. However, it is nine attack damage, so that's not too bad either. Um, but also we got the stone pike it is also two-handed but the reach is two increased melee damage range higher reach levels have more range i think i want to make this um if i can yes i think i can if i just make a few more sticks because currently i don't know if the guy's still down there yeah he is so i need something with pretty good range in order to take this guy down do i really need red wool for this nope just need string Boom, two of those, and then get this. Hopefully I'll be able to reach him with that. Of course, we also have the stone spear, which is a little bit more attack damage, but not a whole lot, so I don't think it's going to be worth it. I do, however, want to make the stone long sword, just so I have a little bit of options for when going down there. Next, I also definitely want a stone pickaxe. Then I can put these emergency tools in here. Definitely got to take these bandages. And yeah, I think that's gonna be my weaponry. Only issue is if I die again, well then that's a pretty hard reset. I am gonna wait for a sundown, then I'm gonna get a little bit more uh, stone, and then, because I need it for my plan, and then we're gonna get straight to work. All right guys, I think that we are ready. At least I hope so. I think I'm fairly prepared. Now this is going to be my plan. I'm going to be making a ton of slabs. Something like this. And this is going to be my plan. I'm going to be tunneling my way through the thing and making poke holes using slabs because those beasts, aka that thing, can go through one block gaps. But I don't think it can go through half slab block gaps. Um. <laughs> At least that is what I'm kind of counting on here. So, I'm going to take on the better armor, and I think I'm going to leave my wood behind as well, because I don't really need it. <sighs> okay, I think it's time. Wait, hold on. When I have the shield on, I have minor fatigue 3. Oh, that's horrible. That's really bad. Does the, uh, hold on, does the normal wooden shield do that? Let me try that real quick. I know it's a little bit of a waste when it comes to wood, but... Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. That... Hmm. 
that's something to keep in mind for sure. I don't know if I like that. But let's start off with definitely having it. And then let us get to work here. Oh boy. There it is. The Chupacabra. That is my first issue that I need to solve. And these chains go change. Chains gotta go. Because they're getting in my way and I'm gonna slip up because of them. Okay. Can I reach you? Oh, I can reach you. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay. That's clear. That's the door that I secured. Okay. We got another one in there. So here is my battle plan. I'm very cold, apparently. Um... If I do... Oh, I should have brought an axe, huh? I'm gonna break through this no matter what. As soon as this is broken, I'm gonna go ahead and place a slab. Boom. Okay. He sees me, but can't actually get to me. Oh, this might work. This... Oh boy. This might work. Okay. Then use this. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Can't get to me now, can ya? Uh... Get back here. Get... No, no, you don't get to run away. That's not fair. Okay, I think it went through some of the holes, so here's my plan. I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna go to that corner, and I'm gonna box myself in. Blocking those... Actually, I'm not even gonna blo bother blocking those holes. I'm just gonna have to box myself in. Here we go. Action, action, action. That's the spawner. Oh! What's attacking me? Don't know how you got to me. Hold the shield up. Hold the shield up. Get to the door. Get to the... Oh, I got through the door. Okay. This is bad. Okay, close that, close that. Whoo, okay. Heal up. I don't know how that got through. Probably from behind or something. But uh, the spawner is definitely right over there. Oh, man. Okay, just gotta heal up this. Gotta heal up my left leg. And then I think we're good to go. I don't think the spawner activates from here, so I just need to get over there and block myself in ASAP. Alright, action. Quickly block that off. Do this. Do this. Get rid of that. Okay. Good. So this is my plan then. Gonna hold this. Place this. Yes. Okay. And now I can break that. I hope. <laughs> I don't know how many spawners are in here though. Gonna take the spear now. Oh, you can hit me through this. Well, only by a little bit though. That's fine. Die. Okay. Right. I'm gonna keep doing this. I see another spawner over there. It might just be a skeleton spawner though. Okay. We might be in the clear here. Oh, I got 10 levels. Okay, I need to... Hold on, I need to use those. Because if I die, I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lose those. Um, should I just... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna upgrade a bunch of this stuff. Uh, defense may... Oh, I'm down to one. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, places... Okay, that's a skeleton. It might just be a skeleton spawner. I'm f scared to go in there, just in case there is... I'm gonna try the longsword here. Boom. 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 I mean, it doesn't... F okay. Should I just... Oh, there's another spawn over there. But those might just be skeletons and whatnot. I think I can take those on. Oh, definitely want to take that. That's for sure. Um, hmm. Or... Or... Get me out. I go all the way around to take out the spawners. I think that's going to be the strategy here. What is this? A dispenser. That's good to know. Uh, is that? Nope, that's just a hole in the floor. Gonna keep going around. Oh, look. Found some iron doing this. Huh. Really shouldn't be my priority at this point in time, but... <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, there's a cave right here. Oh, dear. Okay. Good to... My pickaxe broke. I'll go up, make a new pickaxe, and I'll be... Oh, never mind. There's a crafting table here. Hold up. I heard something. It might just be in the cave. 
Yeah, it's, it's just in the cave. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is the dark, however. Um, this is very dark. Oh. It's on me. I can't place this. Okay. This is... Oh. I think I need some torches. Because I recall if you stay in the dark for too long... Ooh, yes. If you stay in the dark for too long, then something might spawn and kill you. So I'm gonna get some torches real quick. I hear a witch. Huh, there must be a cave system nearby. Okay, I think so far though, we are pretty good. I think we're not doing too bad here. All right, here we go. I got some torches. These I think are vanilla torches, so they'll uh, be there forever, which is important. So I might want to, oh dear me, not you. Not one of these things, okay. Okay, definitely, definitely need to get rid of that spawner, first of all. That's gonna have to be priority one here. I see it. It's right there, but they're kind of in the way. I'm gonna have to move around a bit. Oh, hello. That's a lot of stuff there. That cave might be worth exploring. At some point, when it's actually safe to do so. When these bonus are gone. Okay, I can reach it from here. Any moment now, it should be gone. Boom, and I got a bunch of XP from it. Okay, that's one down. Just need to get the opposite one. I will, however, take you out immediately. What on earth? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, he's a problem. Before I do anything else, remember to heal up. Oh, that went to straight to my head. Wow. You can die, please. Yeah, you can die. You can, you can die. Do me a favor, all of you, and just despawn. Die, you know? That would be very, very nice of you to do. Extremely nice, actually. There we go. Okay. It's not from hitting the guy. It is from being shot with his arrows. And apparently you also get a little bit of wither. You need to really be careful here. My legs are gone. My legs are actually genuinely broken. <laughs> so when I walk... Okay, I thought I took damage when I walked. I don't. Okay, that's good. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, shield up. I don't know if we can pass through this. This is another big one over there. Sure, whatever you said, buddy. That's another space. Okay, I need to get the spawner gone ASAP. The spawner is a lot more tricky to get to <laughs> than the other one. Found it. Finally. I think this is the last spawner in there. Then I just need to fight my way through the waves of ugliness. Which this part is gonna be way interesting. Way interesting? That's not even English. I can't even speak. Let's get rid of you. You guys can't spawn anymore. The skeletons are the ones that are the most deadly. Because they can basically one-shot you if they get a really good shot in. Which is really bad. They're very lethal. But I think my strategy is going to be to get them in this corner. They apparently can't shoot me, but I can hit them. And just abuse this as much as possible. Yeah. Quick lunch break here, get some water, you know, gotta stay hydrated and all that. Okay, back to it. <laughs> you are gonna be the main issue. I really wanted to get close. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. His health is really low as well. So this should be an easy takedown. You know what? This shield is quite annoying me. Because... Oh, hello. Wait, where did my weapon go? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. There he is. One more hit. Another hit. I think my weapon went through this time. Oh no. I might die. Oh boy. That was close. Got it. Just had to shift in the corner. Okay, you definitely have to go. Ah, the health though. Oh, I got him. What on earth is that though? 
Okay, heal the right arm. And then... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Kind of scared. Oh, you're not scary. Oh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Oh, wow. What on earth? Well, these guys are almost dead. I'll be back when they're all gone and dealt with. I don't know why, but something keeps giving me weakness and it kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I also see a name, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. All right. I think the road is clear enough for me to go in there. I really don't want this loot to despawn. There's some really good stuff here, I think. Let me just get some of it. Um, get the torch down. Okay, I think it's just one zombie. And this place is good. Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think, guys, this place has been cleared. That's not a trap chest. That's good, but I still don't trust it. Before we do anything, though... This weakness is killing me. I'm gonna open this. And we're gonna go up. I'm gonna heal up properly here, and uh, then we're gonna take a look at that. But I need to sort my stuff out first. Whew, that was a battle, but we did it. At long last. Oh, that was a weird angle. At long last. I can take my war armor off, and I can equip my nice, comfy wool clothes. And I got this enchanted, I think it's enchanted spear. Uh, let's see here. Two-handed, reach two. It says it's has been Lesser Bane of Author Parts 5. I don't know exactly what that does, but I mean, it's iron. I don't think I can actually use it because I don't have attack. Yep, don't have attack speed 8. Um, but that's cool. What I need to do now is I need to go ahead and get my axe. Actually, I can make a stone axe. And I need to go and get some wood so I can make a chest. Wait, I also got this book, Curse of Decay. Curses an item to decay very fast if left in the ground. Well, that's not good. What am I gonna use that for? When am I ever gonna use that? <laughs> All right, before we go ahead and go down there and loot the chest, I still don't know what is in that chest. I want to go ahead and use some of our 14 experience. And I want to see quickly what it takes to use iron armor as that would really be beneficial. Defense 8, so I think I'm going to put one more level into attack because that means I can now use iron weaponry, which is going to be awesome. However, I now think I'm going to focus all my points into defense. I don't think... Will I need mining 8 in order to use iron pickaxes is the question. I do. So maybe I finish this. Uh, yes, I think I do. I just need, like, one more experience that I can get Mining 8, and then I can start focusing on Defense 8. We're moving up in the world. For example, I can now do this, and that's an Iron... Oh, wait, that's an Iron Longsword. That's not what I want. Up oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a little bit expensive. There we go. <laughs> iron Katana... It is two-handed, though. Hold on, I didn't know it was two-handed. The katana is two-handed. That's why I'm getting so much minor fatigue with the with the shield up. Ah, that's good to know. Honestly, it's not that much better when it comes to attack damage. I think we can use our iron for something a little bit better, to be honest. Hmm, I can't really decide. You guys might need to leave, leave your weapon suggestions down below in the comments. I mean, the iron battle axe looks sick. That might be something we could do. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna make anything right now. I think we will be fine. I'm not planning to get into too much conflict at the moment. So yeah, leave your weapon suggestions down below in the comments of what iron weaponry you think I should get. But now let us get into the chamber. Close the door after us. Did I loot everything here? Okay, yes, I did. All right, this chamber is now secure, or it should be anyway. There is a cave back there somewhere and also back there, which I do want to investigate further but for now let us see what is in this chest it doesn't look trapped it's not a trapped chest so let's see three two one Ooh. okay we got chain chest plate chain helmet and chain leggings that's an armor upgrade right there we got two empty canteens that's awesome seven emeralds three iron uh eight gold a bucket of milk a cake for our you know what that i'll take it umbrium ingot barometer 
a warp scroll and photometer. Okay, let, let's take a look here. What can I use the emeralds for? Not a whole lot. I can make a soul key, log arrows, emerald ring. I wonder what that does. I could technically make that now. I don't know what it does, though. Em emerald amulet? It doesn't say what it does. This enchantment table is cool. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save the emeralds, to be honest. What about the umbrium ingots? I can make weaponry with that. But it looks like I can also make some other stuff, which, yeah, those are going to be saved as well. The barometer, I don't... I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't know what the barometer is. I'm pressing U. Nothing is coming up. Don't know what the photometer is either. Don't know what the wolf scroll is. Oh, it teleports me to my spawn point. So that's kind of like a get home instantly kind of thing. And then, of course, milk and cake. Okay. You know what? That's awesome. Let me try on the armor. Oh, wait. I can't actually do that because I need defense four. Uh, can I put any levels into defense? I mean, I know I want mining up, so you know what? Let's not do that. Before we go back up, though, that's a lot of iron here. This is potentially a really bad idea, opening this up. Um, also, with this amount of loot. I also have gold now. If I have seven leather, I could go ahead and make a backpack. Let me go back up, put some of this stuff away, get another door, and then I think we'll... Take a peek in that cave and see if we can perhaps get something with us. Oh, wait a minute. I do have 11 leather. I should then have enough to make a backpack. If I have some wool and also that gold, which I put in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so place down on a break while sneaking to equip. So I don't know if this goes into my... No, it does not. I need to open the bubbles tab and put it into my... That's not my backpack slot. Wait, where's my backpack slot? Oh yeah, it did say actually. Place down and break while sneaking to equip. So I can place it down like a chest, I can put stuff in it. Uh that's cool. You can't equip a backpack while wearing a chest plate. Ah. Oh. Okay. Plus seven locational armor. Huh. Well, that's gonna be primarily for exploring and adventuring, I suppose. That that's kind of sad. I don't think there's another kind of backpack. No, maybe a satchel? Nope, okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. Um, but oh well. However, I do know it is changeable in the configs. I just don't like to change configs in mod packs because it's specifically tailored to what the mod pack creators wanted. So I don't think I want to change that. Let me know down below in the comments so if you think I should change that. But for now, I'm gonna leave it be. It's still very useful for going on adventures. All right, I have made a door. Let's make a... Let's make an opening. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be quite interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna place the door like right there. I have one more vanilla torch. Let's place that there. Okay, now I am in the dark, which I'm not 100% comfortable with. There's lava over there, which means bad things can spawn. I just want to get the lay of the land here. Get the cobblestone back in. There's also stuff up here. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's the effect of the enderman. Okay. The zombie right there, but there's iron. Okay. It doesn't seem too bad, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to need a few torches. Alright guys, I think I have a plan. We're going to be ending this episode here. I need to do a little bit more preparation work. I want to get some more lit torches, do some more work, get some more resources and things prepared for the journey. And then in the next episode, we're going to be exploring that cave, getting a bunch of iron and coal and seeing what we can find. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And yeah, I hope to see you, well, in the next one. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. I can't remember. I believe, ooh, I did leave some stuff here. Mm -hmm, I can make some bread. You know what? I'm going to celebrate with some bread. Uh, bread. Uh, we'll leave that in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.